First of all, nice to catch up with you. Yeah. Congratulations first of all for the family and uh, what a summer you've had. Yeah, no, thank you, yeah. Twins, it's, uh, it's brilliant but it's not easy, <laughs> I can guarantee you that. And of course, it all been capped off with you becoming the top goal scorer and winning that first promotion as well. You've yes. Had time, you've had time to really think about that now and what's it mean to you? Yeah, massive. I mean, when I came here, I said to the manager, I said that I came because I thought we could get promoted. It took a few years longer than what I was hoping, but uh, now I made up, first promotion. Been close so many times, um, but yeah, to get over the final hurdle has been brilliant. Just a pity, couldn't sort of celebrate with the fans and on the pitch and all that, but I'll take it nonetheless. And top goal scorer again, I remember that you just mentioned that you couldn't finish the season off, because I'm pretty sure you'd have been banging towards that 20 more, wouldn't you? Yes, yeah, I'd have been disappointed if I didn't get close or above 20. Um, yeah, it was a great season, I think, played some great stuff, I think we fully deserved to go up. I'm just going to go back to something you know, I read in the local chronicle, you told Peter Morse that you said to Callum England after losing 3 0 at home on the opening day of the season, so that yeah. everybody's promotion favourites, don't worry, we're going to be there and thereabouts. Yeah. I've got six watching numbers here if you want to <laughs> fill them in for me. But what made you feel like that? I just thought, um, well, first that game was never a 3 0 game. No. I knew Plymouth would be there and thereabouts as well. Um, and I, just, I just knew from the previous season, how we finished the previous season, the games in pre season, I just knew that the best of the team in League Two weren't as good as what we were. And I just thought we've been together sort of two and a half, three years, that team, or the sort of core of that team and the squad. I just thought I've been in a lot of teams that's been close, and that just felt like one of those times. Obviously, things change over the close seasons. You, you've stayed, you've sorted your contract out, you're pleased about that, you've lost some of your mates, you've lost some of your other teammates as well. It's, it's, it's always a different time, isn't it, in the close season to when you kick off and you've got to be ready to go again now, whatever the manager yeah. gets as a squad. Yeah, that, that's what, the hardest part of football for me. It's obviously, you form friendships with people, you're with them for two or three years and all of a sudden they're not there anymore or you're not there anymore. And, it's hard to keep contact with people when they move all over the country. Um, the, the young lads probably don't haven't seen that side of football as yet, but it's um, I think that's one of the hardest parts of this profession. Um, but the manager's got to make these dif dif difficult decisions. That's why their job's so hard. Um, but obviously, I'm sure he'll bring in quality and um, we'll do well in League One, hopefully. A few on a person now to, to get that extension and get the contract so we delighted that you haven't got to be up, upheaval again you know that's a big thing of it but also you're playing at a club I think you you, you thrive now. Yes yeah I'm, I'm delighted to stay um, I had other options but um, I said to the manager I said I didn't, didn't really want to move um, I enjoy it here they've been great with me I think we'll do well in League One and I'm excited to have another crack at League One um, done well in League One when I've played in League One in the past, that's where I've seemed to have scored most of my goals really, so uh, hopefully that will continue. So, so we're just going to come on to that, what, what difference can some of the players, someone who's chased League One football before, but they were relatively young now, what, can, what is the difference, what, what are they expected to find? Uh, I don't personally think it, there's a massive difference, obviously the, the quality might be a tiny bit higher, but I, I don't think there's too much of a difference, to be honest. I mean, I'm sure there's loads of players in League 2 that can play in League 1, and I'm sure there's loads of League 1 players that are probably more like League 2 players, so I'm sure we'll find out. The thing is, for these lads, for them who are moving in their the careers onwards and upwards, it's a, a great learning curve, isn't it? You know, they've got a promotion under their belt, they've won in League 2. The next step is to, to show what they can do and try and get either Championship or, or Premier League clubs. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, you, you do well in League for the younger lads, and really, if you do well in League Two, you might get a loop, move to League One, maybe the Championship. But if you do well in League One, it's only really the Championship you can go to, or or even higher. Um, and I think there's some big teams in League One this season, so it'll be good for them to get a taste of playing in, some, in front of some big stadiums, big hopefully when the fans are back, some big fan bases. Um, so it'll all be a good, good experience for a lot of young lads. But for somebody like yourself who's done it and worn the t-shirt and, and, and been successful, it's still that buzz is it? You know, it's a, it's a new league and 
I still want to prove myself. I, I'm Chris Port and I want to be scoring goals. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I've got personal targets that I want to reach before I retire. Um, I've still not reached some of those, so um, yeah, I still want to do well and I want to be the top goal scorer again. Um, and that's what we're trying to do. It's been a completely different close season, hasn't it? We've never ever witnessed anything like this. You know, you've got to cope with it, you've got to get on with it. It's back to the, the grindstone now, isn't it? You know, yeah. day in and day out. How are you with the pre season training sessions? Uh, yeah, it's not, no one ever really looks forward to it. Um, you can try and keep fit at home, but it's not obviously not the same as when you're in with the lads and everyone's competing against each other, so you get pushed that hard, a bit harder than what you would do training on your own at home. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things I'm used to than that.